Hi everyone, I'm here today to show you how to use Purple Mash. Purple Mash is a website with lots of activities for your child. I'm hoping to do this video within three minutes so it's nice and quick. Um, Purple Mash, you just have to type in purplemash.com forward slash Ickberg, um, sorry, forward slash SCH forward slash Ickberg to get onto the, the website for our school. Um, your, ch your child's username and password is their first name with a capital letter at the start. So I've got a username called Practice. So Practice is my, uh, my username with a capital P and my password is Practice with a capital P. So I'm going to log in by clicking on that purple bar. Now I'm focusing today on our to do's icon. Um, when you log in, you'll see the dashboard for Purple Mash and you certainly can um, spend time looking at the different activities. But the to do icon, if you click on the to do icon on that, that left top left hand side, you're going to see a lot of activities that the teacher has put up for your child. We've got maths activities and we have got some uh, literacy activities. Now, when you go into these activities for the first time, you'll see that you have to start them. Um, whereas if you've gone in before, you can continue the work or hand them in. So let's look at an activity that we haven't started yet. So I'm gonna look at the to do to beat activity. I'm going to click on start and you can see the activity. Now I'm going to just turn off the video for a moment um, and you'll be able to see on the top right hand corner we've got a green arrow and that is the little video to explain how to use this activity. So I'm just going to click on that. Using two beats I can program different drum patterns. I've got uh, different drums here. So a lot of the activities, the more, the more complex activities, will have videos to show you what to do in order to support your child. Now, when you finish the activity or when you want to move on to something else, you press that exit button. So top right hand corner, white arrow, red rectang rectangle. You've got two options and I'm going to ask you to save and exit. So when we save and exit, you can see where is it gone? You can see that we can continue the work so we can go back into it tomorrow if we wish to. So we can click on continue and we can do more work. We can exit again, save and exit. And then when we want, when we're finished with our work, we can hand it into the teacher. Click on hand in, type in something. We liked this activity and press OK. And you can see off it goes, it goes to the teacher. So again, you can work on all of these activities with your child. There are videos with some of the activities that help you to um, support your child. You will need to support your child with all of these activities. Once you've handed them in, the teacher will be able to look at the work and comment. Okay, I hope this video has helped you. I'm going to log out and I'm going to end this video. Bye.